So I am getting my documents all straightened for my Lean on Laurel program. And as I was sitting here um, working on the power content, I thought that I would shoot this video because there are so many misconceptions about how I use power content in my ecosystem, okay? <clears throat> for those of you guys who don't know, over the last probably about two or so years, I've been working on a strategy that would lower my client's ad spend as the campaign optimizes and it would increase conversions, right? Where most people are like, well, in order to make more, you have to spend more. I've been working on a strategy that does the opposite. Um, I wanted a strategy that would increase conversions and lower ad spend as it optimizes. And so that's where my client accelerator ecosystem was born. And this is what it looks like. But as I've been teaching it outside of my private clients, um, there's a lot of misconceptions going around as to why Laurel uses power content um, before she does anything else. And I wanted to set the record straight with this video um, because here's the thing. People think that I want to run power content first so that I could run warm traffic to an offer like a webinar or a lead magnet or a low ticket offer. That is not true. Okay. As you can see within this ecosystem, there are two places that people can actually enter the ecosystem. Okay. So people can enter my ecosystem through power content or they could enter the ecosystem by an offer. The reason that I have two ways to enter the ecosystem, okay, is for one of the best reasons to actually do this. And this is what a lot of people don't teach, okay? So right now, Facebook actually just announced that a lot of targeted audiences will be going away, especially like in the, knee, in the uh, health niche, there are a couple in the business niche. Um, and so, if you have been listening to me over the last couple of years where I've been preaching, do power content first, here's one of the biggest reasons, okay? Let's say that I'm actually going to use one of my clients as an example. So one of my agency clients is in the health niche, and she is a consultant for women who are going through IVF treatment. Well, infertility is a health condition. And a lot of the targeted audiences targeting health conditions are going to be going away. But here's why I'm not worried and my clients aren't worried because over the last two years, we have been running power content to very specific targeted audiences of women who are visiting certain IVF clinics and all of the things that the targeting is probably going to go away. Okay. Because a lot of times people are like, and, and gurus are like, I don't know why Laurel teaches that because, you know, the money's in the conversions, but here's why my strategies might not be fast and sexy. But remember, I tell you, they're slow and steady. None of my clients have anything to worry about because we have been running video view campaigns to these audiences. And so all of my clients, ideal prospects are already in our video view audiences. Here's another thing. Okay. When we optimize for video views versus conversions, it actually reaches a totally different audience because, and, and I'll give an example. So let's say that we are targeting people who, you know, are interested in IVF, you know, infertility, reproductive health, and all of that stuff. Remember, if we only run a conversion campaign to a webinar for, for that audience, Facebook's only going to show this ad to people who they think is likely to convert, right? That's how the objectives work. So Facebook actually isn't showing, if I'm only running a conversion campaign, Facebook's not showing my conversion ad to all of that audience, only the audience that's likely to convert. And so my power content are video view campaigns or engagement campaigns. I run both, total transparency. Sometimes I run engagement and video view campaigns for this reason, because I want to make sure I'm reaching everyone in that audience, not just who Facebook thinks is, quote, likely to convert. So over the last several years, these audiences have been building up. And so 
it's a complete myth that I do power content just so that I have an audience to send an offer to. That is not true. I do power content so that I can create audiences based off of a different audience that only Facebook says is likely to convert. So now instead of having 10% of the, the IVF infertility audiences, this strategy captures them all. So just so we're clear. So if we look at this webinar flow, okay, so this is the, this is the, the basic webinar flow that I do for my clients, whether they come in as lean on Laurel, whether they come in as an agency client, we're sending cold traffic to this webinar opt-in, but we're also sending cold traffic here. This is a conversion campaign. These are engagement and video view campaigns. Okay. So here's where the ecosystem kicks in because it's mission number four in my entire lean on Laurel framework is setting up the ecosystem that will lower your ad spend as time goes on. Think about this, okay? If we're running cold conversion ads to webinar opt-ins, remember 20 to 30% of people are gonna opt in, but there's a huge percentage of audiences that aren't. So what I'm gonna do is over time, I'm going to shift the power content. I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm still gonna run it top of funnel, okay? I'm still gonna run power content to cold traffic, but I'm also going to run a warm traffic campaign so that if people aren't opting in, they're going to get my power content. And then if they watch at least 25% of my power content, they're going to get this Facebook, YouTube, Instagram retargeting sequence that I call the fire Four that is going to push people here. People don't necessarily have to watch my webinar or my client's webinar in this case, in order to book a call. Because think about it, if people landed on this page and they didn't opt into the webinar, maybe they didn't have time. Maybe they didn't want to watch a webinar. Maybe they wanted it in bite-sized versions instead. So whenever I'm building out my client's power content, we're reflecting the content that's in the webinar. So we're feeding this, we're feeding them the content, whether they watch it in webinar form or whether they watch it here. So that's why if they watch 25% of a five-minute video, we're going to send them the other two pieces of content and then they're going to get the fire four video that's going to push them to the application page. Okay. This is, this is going to go straight. So people can be booking calls, whether they watch the webinar or the power content, this strategy alone is what brought one of my clients from a 10 to $11,000 ad spend to $5,700 in ad spend and doubled her conversions. Whenever she, right before she started working with me, she was working with another agency and they were just doing, they weren't doing power content. So I'm going to, I'm going to delete this. What they were doing. Okay. What they were actually doing was they didn't have this strategy and they did not have that strategy. They were literally just running this funnel. Okay. Okay. Now they were doing okay. They were spending 10 to $11,000 to get people into a webinar and they were selling, they were closing about 50 to $60,000 a month. Whenever I took over her ad account, I did two things. I added that, I added this retargeting and then we went last and implemented the top of funnel power content. I brought her at, even though I added more strategy, I brought her ad spend down to $5,700 and she actually ended up closing $120,000 that month. And ever since then has been closing in the six figures a month with her ad spend cut in half. And so that is the power of this ecosystem. And I've been working two and a half years on this to perfect it with my agency clients. A lot of times people are like, well, Laurel, are you taking agency clients? No, I have not in the last couple of years because my clients love me for this strategy. So if you want the agency experience without the agency price tag, check out my lean on Laurel program, because here's the thing. I'm actually going to, I'll actually show you guys what this looks like. So if you go to adswithlaurel.com slash mentorship, um, I'm actually going to launch and set up your ads and then help you optimize and scale them each month. Um, and so you get a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me. You're going to, we're going to implement this funnel system that we were just talking about. Um, and this works, whether you have a challenge or whether you have a webinar, I work with people who have both types of, uh, both of strategies, 
Um, the thing that I do say though, is it's for you. If you have a high ticket offer, you want to sell over the phone. So whether you're doing that, bringing in people through a challenge or a webinar, um, if you've already sold that offer and you or your VA is already familiar with the ads manager. Okay. Because even though I am going to be setting up and launching your ads, I'm going to be helping you ongoing inside the ads manager, um, so that you can optimize and scale them. So you're going to get access to daily Q and a with me. Um, you're going to get strategy calls. We've got two strategy calls a month. Um, we, every single, uh, three Mondays a month and three Thursdays a month, we've got copy and creative calls just to make sure that your creatives and your copy, um, we've got personal ad audit. So I will actually get into the ads manager with you and help you scale and optimize your ads for a total. We have 14 calls in this program, 14 calls a month, but here's the thing. More calls doesn't always mean better, right? Sometimes you, and so I designed it to where for these calls, it's all appointment based. Everyone could be there, but it's all appointment based. So let's say you want, you need me to help you optimize and scale your ads. You're going to book time on the calendar and it's just going to be you and I jamming during that time on the call. So it is a true hybrid of a one-on-one -on -one program because you do get, you know, one-on-one -on -one call strategy with me and I'm going to actually build you a strategy doc to where you're going to know every single piece of content that you're going to need in order for us to make the strategy work for you. So if you're interested in working with me on a more personalized level, you want the agency experience, but you don't want the agency price tag, um, go to adswithlaurel.com slash mentorship and click this button here. It's going to take you to a Calendly page where you could book some time with me and we'll see if you are going to be a good fit for this program. So if, if that's you, um, I look forward to seeing you in the program, but for, for everyone else who's trying to implement this strategy yourself, just keep that in mind. Power content isn't just to build a warm audience. It has so many other um, capabilities to actually lower your ad cost, okay? And it's gonna reach a different audience, okay? So hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this. If you got a lot of value out of this, do me a favor. Can you smash that like button? Can you throw me a comment saying, Laurel, this was awesome or Laurel, hey, this sucked. Um, but whatever you do, smash the like button, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.